Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about, you know, just things and things you need to know before you buy a new boat and before before you sign that dollar line for a new boat. So, get you something good to drink and let's go through this whole list. Alright guys, so I'm going to share with you guys some of the experiences that we got when we first bought a boat and just things that we, we kind of wish we knew before buying, okay? First thing is you need to know that the price you are getting from like, you know, the dealer, the, their advertised price most likely does not include the trailer, the cost of the trailer, alright? So for us, it was kind of a surprise. Like, when we're going down the the sheet of how much the breakdown uh trailer costs a thousand bucks for us and this was a plain plain jane trailer so just know that um whatever they advertise on the websites you're going to be adding a couple thousand to it also when it comes to trailers know that um go on the manufacturer's website and see what type of options there are because uh if you're gonna be ordering a boat anyways you probably should upgrade your trailer there are a couple options out there that i saw when we were looking around you could do like dual axle trailers um uh, brake assist um parking brake on trailers led tail lights you know just things like that that would if you are like a tournament angler or if you just travel out of your boat um just those options will come in handy and help you out a lot in the long run uh like i said for ours our, our dealer didn't, didn't even mention anything about boat uh, trailer options. They were just they basically just gave us that trailer, and um, that came with the boat already. Right? So just know that there are options out there, right? Another thing you guys should know is that uh, when you're looking at these dealer websites, those boats, even though it says it says it's in stock may not be in stock um it's just a tactic with, that dealers use to get customers to, to go in so what happened to us was uh this dealership that was like four hours away said that they had two boats that we uh, wanted to uh check out in stock they had like stock numbers on the website saying that yeah this is the stock number for this particular boat and it is in stock All right so my brother got pre-approved through their website and we were basically ready to go there, look at it, and pick, like, buy it. Um, so you got pre, pre approved like the day before, and then uh, on the day that we were actually gonna go check out this boat, we get a phone call from the, from the dealer, and they told us, "Hey, this boat that you know you want to see is already sold, or was it's not even there? And supposedly it was sold like a week ago, but they said they had two. Right, it was a white one. We wanted a white one, and then there was also black ones, but we were also cool with black. So we was like, "Hey, we'll go check out the black one." And then he said, "Oh yeah, that one sold too." So we don't have any of these boats in stock. So then we were like, "What's the deal?" And dude was just like, "Hey, come in, and we'll we'll look at these other boats." So it's just a tactic for them to get you in and you know look for other boats. Let's talk about big dealerships. All right, um, locally to us. Um, there's a big dealership and they have several locations. So they're like sister dealerships All right, so the boat that we bought if you guys haven't seen is a g3 sportsman 1910 um, Locally our dealership had a, a tan color one in stock uh, and uh, My brother Connery and I briefly went back to look at it actually then they did like it, but I told them, hey, I really like, uh, you know, a white or a, a gray one. And uh, there was a sister dealership, a different location, just two hours away, that had the gray one, which is actually the one we bought. But um, they gave us a price on the tan one. And then when we went to go check out the gray one, we got a price for that one. And these two boats were identical. I mean, all the accessories were like were like you know the same same motor same horsepower same trailer the only thing that was different was the paint and um on the website if you go to the manufacturer's website and you price it out the paint doesn't even dictate a, a difference in price so when we went over there we actually bought the gray boat and they gave us a better 
price. So if you don't, you're, if you're not uh, in a rush to buy, shop around. I mean, even sister dealerships have different pricing. So we were pretty surprised and pretty happy about that, that we got it cheaper at the other dealership. Plus we got, we got the bow in the color we wanted. Here's a very important one, something that you definitely need to know and know before you buy a boat, especially if you don't have a, uh, you've never owned a boat before. Make sure your uh, tow vehicle is rated to tow that boat. Uh, I think our boat out here is only like at most 2,500 pounds. Both my, my SUV and my brother Connery's uh, truck are rated for like 7,000 pounds. So we are definitely like more than able to tow this rig. But you know, I, I've seen at the boat ramps, you know, little, little, little like four banger SUV, not SUVs, four banger sedans pulling like these 2,000 pound boats. And then they get stuck at the ramp or they break down. It's just really dangerous to do something like that. So just know, just, be sure to have a tow vehicle that can actually tow your rig when you buy it, All right? So lastly, this is something that could possibly save you guys a couple thousand dollars. It saved us a couple thousand dollars when purchasing. We wanted um, to basically buy the our boat as plain as possible, as base as possible, because. Um, uh, the dealerships will, will basically just charge an arm and a leg to install parts. Um, we saved close to $2,000 just by installing our own fish finders, running the, you know, the power needed to do that. And then, yeah, and we didn't upgrade the trawler at the dealership um, because they wanted like $1,000 to install a new, um, the newer, more powerful uh, trolling motor. So, because what we wanted was a um, Mikota Fortrex, not Ultrex, Mikota Ultrex, and uh, and we wanted to up to 36 volts, which is something that's really easy for us and we could do ourselves. And they quoted us four thousand dollars to do it, which it was like a thousand. The trolling motor was three thousand dollars, but the the labor cost was going to be another thousand dollars to do, which was pretty ridiculous for us so we said no nah, we just want it as plain as possible uh, and you know saved us a couple thousand dollars by doing that so if you're like pretty tech savvy and you know you have you know tools to do it yourself um, do it yourself and save yourself a lot of money so these, those are my tips and I hope that uh, these little tips and stories will help you guys when you guys are ready to buy your new boat and uh, if you guys are watching and yet you, you have gone through this before comment below maybe I've missed some things or some things that I, ha I didn't get to experience that would actually help other um, viewers uh, comment below and let them know all right all right guys with that um, I have nothing else so if you guys haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button hit the like it help, does help the channel and we truly appreciate the support that we've been getting from everybody and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.